Welcome to our first meeting today on uh, principal's pay and trying to come up with some plan that will work for principals. Um, I will have a brief opening comment and I'll ask my able uh, co-chair, Representative Blackwell, this is the House and Senate Joint Committee where we hope that we get this thing ready for a budget provision and uh, hopefully uh, that's what we'll come out with at the end of the day. There's nothing, uh, Leanne, and Catherine written in stone. We're beginning an idea, but we do hope to conclude this thing within uh, three meetings. So today we will move quickly to get through uh, all this uh, process of letting you know what's out there, what the plan is, and how we would like your input is to make it a workable plan. I will say that the total bulk of principal money, that total bulk, first of all, must be increased three to five percent as a minimum. We are number 50 out of the state in principal class. If it weren't for local money, some of you put 30,000 or more in there in the principal pay, and some put virtually nothing. So we've got a great disparity in principal pay. And sometimes the rich feeds off the poor. So we want to fix some of those problems. Uh, but I would just say if we're 50th in the nation, what we're doing is uh, not the best way to go about getting the best principal in the best location. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, Representative Blackwell, uh, comments from you, sir. Always a challenge to follow you, Senator Tillman. Um, and quickly, I'll just say, too, uh, over the years that I have not been an educator, but I have been involved with education going back about 25 years when I was on the school board, I think I, uh, I understand the critical importance of classroom teachers. But I also believe strongly that leadership is as critical. I don't think it gets the comment because you guys don't have the numbers. <laughs> and so it doesn't take on the political significance sometimes. But it's difficult for teachers to do what we need them to do if they don't have a supportive leader who understands what they're doing and what they need to do can both encourage and properly evaluate, especially when we're dealing with students who have not been being successful. And when you're at the bottom of the nation in compensation, the starting point, it seems to me, is we, we simply need to go up. But the second part, which uh, I hope our uh, speakers today will get us started on and that we'll talk about some in the additional meetings, is in the process of raising the floor, how should we do it to best enable our school districts across the state to both recruit, train, I say both, to, to recruit, train, and retain principals and assistant principals who can be effective with those students that have not been succeeding in North Carolina. So thank you all for, for being here today, and I am excited about this process getting underway. Thank you. The, the Senate members who are on the committee, uh, I see uh, Deanna Ballard here, a very capable senator who will help us greatly, and uh, in the House, so we've got uh, Representative Elmore, and uh, Senator Barefoot is not here. I believe that's the committee. It's a small committee, so we can get things moving. 